Ash, back at it again with another one. You know, we got Ranger Danger. Scarcity. This is something that is so fucking powerful and I never even realized. So I just sold a course and I made $45,000 in five days. That was revenue. I didn't actually profit that. I profited like a thousand or two thousand, not even that much. But I generated this company, $45,000 just for me, not even the other people, all because of scarcity. Let me show you how, let me tell you how. We dropped the course. There was millions and millions of people who were opting in and we sold, we sold a good amount of people. I sold probably four to five, six people right away when they dropped. And then we closed it. We closed all the spots and told them, hey, right now there's no more spots. Everyone filled up the spots, sorry. And there was million, There was even more people, millions. No, 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 I really wanted to buy. I really wanted to get in. I really want this and that and that and that. So guess what? Oh, we opened it up 50 more spots. Boom, we got like two, three times the amount of people now. Just because of the scarcity effect. Now it goes the same way with women. If you portray yourself or if you are you know, talking to someone, if you do have multiple women, if you do have this and that. Now you could use this to your advantage, you could use this for the good, for the bad, whatever. Take what you want from this. But I realized the more and more women I talk to and the more and more options I have, the more, scar the more scarcity, the more women are like, oh my God, like this guy's actually like, he has multiple women he's talking to, it's not just me. The more they want me. Now you could do this with women, with business. So if you're selling something, have scarcity to it. You know, if you're selling a course, hey, there's only 50 spots left, they're closing fast. Close it, close it for like a day or two and be like, nope, there's no more spots and just see. See the people start flooding in your DMs. No, 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 I really wanted it. Once, once people realize that there's something that they had but now they can't have it anymore, oh, they want it so much more. Oh my goodness. That goes with everything in life, man. It could go with your dreams. I mean, think about it. We literally want so much of our dreams. We want this car, we want this. We want it so much more because we don't have it. I mean, I remember the other day when I wanted to go hang out with this one, this one girl and I wanted it so bad because she would never, she would hit me up here and there, but it was like, she was making herself scare, scarce. And then guess what? The next week comes around and she actually makes herself available. So I went and hung out with her. And once I got her and I hung out with her, she was, she's not as scarce. Now I don't want her as much anymore. It fucking sucks, but it is what it is. So it's like, use this shit to your advantage. Use scarcity to your advantage. Like, I'm sorry, it could, this could be like dark, but you could use it for the better. You know, you could use it for business to use money to like donate or to go help your family or this and that. But scarcity, just think about certain areas in your life, things that you're working on and see if you could use scarcity to help build trust, to help <laughs> build trust, to help build funds, to help build yourself up. You know, if you show that there's people who are wanting it, if you show that there's more to it and that it might not always be there, you'll get more. You know, another example is one of my buddies there's this one course that he's always wanted to buy and he's, he's waited off for like probably like a year or two. And all of a sudden the other day, the guy who drops the course says, I'm only leaving this open for another week or two. Hurry up and get in before I cancel it. So then he buys. So it's like, bring some scarcity to like whatever you do, just a little bit, you know, a little bit. The other day I was hanging out with some friends and you know, it's always, it's always good to hang out with friends here and there and do some stuff. But I told him, I was like, Hey man, like, I'm gonna eventually be moving. I'm gonna eventually boss up. Like, I, I'm still gonna be talking to you guys, but at the same time, like, there's stuff I gotta do, man. I can't always be here for you guys to help you for this and that. And I hope you guys do the same with me. You know, I hope you guys boss up and I hope you guys eventually go and I won't be mad at all. You know, if you need to go boss up, you need to go do what you need to go do. You need to go travel. You need to go work on family stuff. You need to go work on yourself. You know, I told him I was working on my business. I told him I was working on YouTube. I told him I was working on this and that. And, you know, I could see them, you know, a little sad. They're like, fuck, man, this guy really is. But it, there was respect to it. There was respect, but it was also like a scarcity mindset where it's like, oh, man, he, he's not always going to be here. I mean, that's in general, man. Not everyone's always going to be here, you know. Life and death, man. But, yeah. Please bring scarcity into stuff that you do. Please, 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 please. 
So, hey, man, I fucking love y'all. I fucking love y'all. Your dreams are so much closer than they appear. Keep up the fucking work, you. Whoever's watching this, keep that shit up. I'm telling you. I'm fucking telling you. I know it can be tough, man. I woke up today and the other day and, you know, there's not really anything to show for like the last couple weeks that I took off work and been doing stuff online. And my parents are like, so what are you actually doing? Are you, you're not even doing anything. You're this and that and that. And it's like tough to say because it's like I don't really have too much to show. But it's because they're putting their beliefs onto me. I realize that, you know, they think I'm probably just sitting at home screwing around which is understandable. I mean, it's what I used to do, but you know, I really have been putting in work and I really have been showing myself, you know, the, the opportunities and the stuff that I've been showing for myself and, you know, making my first money online and et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, if, if you start getting pushback from parents, from other different friends, just know that you're actually going in the right direction. You're slowly starting to get a little bit of hate, which is good. I mean, you're getting, you're making them uncomfortable, you know? I think a big thing of it too is especially if you're working with parents or you had a, you're working with a family business and you stopped doing that and you started doing something else, they're going to try and get you back in, which is understandable. But yeah, man, I fucking love y'all. Keep up the work. Keep up the hustle. Like, comment down below. Tell me what's up. How are you going to use scarcity? Comment down below and I might give you some money. Who knows? Ash out. Mwah.